Right, today is a step-by-step -step guide of how to get off the bed when your back is in spasm. So going from lying down to sitting to standing when your back is gone on you. Now, we're using Ryan today because Ryan has gone through a back episode. So he's got a recurrent disc problem that happens every now and again. He's just gone through another little episode, but he's coming right. Now, the other week he couldn't get off the bed. So we went through a step-by-step -step process of how to get him off the bed. And he also uses this when he's at home because he has to do his McKenzie extensions to try and reduce the disc problem. Uh, but there's some spasm involved with that being on his front. And so this is a sort of a counter to try and get him back off the floor and getting him moving again. So, Ryan, do you want to show me your extension first for me? So he goes through his McKenzie extension. So this one here. So if you've been doing this exercise, this is really, really good for him. But the thing about this helps with his disc problem. But then he finds because he's been on his front, or if he's been on his front to rest, or he's playing with this kid, if he locks up, then he has to get moving. And it's hard for him to get off the bed or get doing his core exercises. So I'm going to go through. This is one of you like this, where you can't get off from your front then watch this. So the first thing you've got to do is get onto your side. To get off your front, you've got to get sitting, you've got to get on your side. So for Ryan, what I want him to do is he's going to come up a little bit into extension. So he's going to come up a little bit, then he's going to tuck in. The first thing you're going to do is get that right arm underneath to there to his elbow. So that's your first step. Can you get onto your elbow? And now this is him turning left to get up. Okay, so if you're turning left, the right arm's there. Now, he liked this one because his pain was left. The next thing he's got to do is he's got to get his lower body onto its side as well, okay, without too much shifting here. Now, the best thing you can try and do is to try and switch on your core to keep this stable. Because if he lets that go, it might go into spasm. Now, switching on his core gently will help him stabilize and stop the spasm because it turns on his TA, stops some of that spasm. So he's got to hold a wee, turn on his internal abdominals, his transversus, get that working there so he's sort of locked down in here without holding his breath too much. And he's got to try and get this leg slowly close to this one, then under that leg. So he'll bend his left out of the way a little bit and then bring his right under. So bring your run right under there. Now you can see he's pushing a little bit there. He's drawing his corner. Now he's always halfway already. He's got to just keep going. So he's got to keep going with that leg and bring it to there and rest there. And that's his rest position. Now, if he's in trouble at that point and he goes, oh, that's too much, he just goes down, lie on your side, and then he can rest on his side. So if you get to that point and you need to have a rest, just lie on your side. At least he's gone from front to side. What the, we don't want to do is go from your front to try and get onto your back. Okay, so just to your side to then get up. So you can rest in there. Once he's happy with that, then he's got to get back up onto his elbow again. So what do you do is push. The second stage is pushing down with that hand to lift him up and get back to the elbow. Now, to get upright, it's almost got his, like, he's got to swing up like a pendulum. If he bends too much here, he's going to crunch down here. Okay, so when he comes up here, his legs have got to go down. Now to get them down, he's got to get them close to the edge of the bed. So he just shuffles them over and shuffles his pelvis probably a little bit close as well, bends that knee a little bit. Now, these two legs are slowly going to creep down as he comes up. So if he can keep his core on, keep that pelvic floor on, he'll keep stable. He's going to push with the right elbow, push the right hand, and he's going to go onto that hand. So eventually he'll push up with that hand as well. So he pushes with the left, away you go. These go down, and bingo, he just sort of floats upwards. Now, at that point, he's got to stay on. His core has to stay on. He can't let go because he's, bang, straight into loaded sitting. And this is where a lot of people don't like the sitting. So we don't want him here for too long. But if we launch straight up into standing, it's too much. So he's got to sit there and wait and keep his core on, meaning his pelvic floor, keeping that brace in there and breathe. <laughs> Right. Until that settles a little bit, till he goes, okay, it's not spasming, it's calming down. Now, a lot of people tend to like putting, you can see he's naturally putting a bit of weight through his hands to stabilize. It's almost like putting sort of struts out for a crane. That's helping him keep sort of weight off his lower back. Eventually, he'll be able to settle that. But you can also use that as a bit of balance, a bit of confidence. Now, before he stands, now, let me just have a look at this. He's probably going to be, in most beds, they're a bit lower than a plinth, so he's probably going to get his feet close to the floor. Just bring that down a little bit. 
What he's got to do before he even thinks about standing is to try and get those back muscles even more out of spasm. Now this is where I use that pelvic rock idea. So think of a piano metronome. He's going to rock from his left bum to his right bum like this, but try and keep his upper body centre. So it's almost like he's rocking underneath. Now what he's doing is he's getting his left and right back extensors, which are the ones that are going to spasm, getting his left and right back extensors actually actively working, okay, so contracting, which gets them out of spasm. So being instead of locked up like this, they're relaxing, contracting, relaxing, contracting. And that will help settle down the spasm and almost trick the brain to say it's okay to move, it's okay to work. And especially, he's going to be standing and walking left and right, so they're going to be turning on, turning off. So this is the same sort of action they're going to be doing when he's walking. So this is a really good way to sort of get that spasm down before he then stands up into extension. Okay. Now, to get standing, he's got to now do another shuffle and just, you can use your hands, but shuffle the bum forward, same sort of thing, to the edge of the bed. And I go right to the edge of the bed, which will give him more scope to be able to stand up because what you're going to do, and this is actually quite a good one for when you're sitting on the toilet as well, because if he have his feet there, to come forward he has to come forward quite a way and he's definitely not allowed to flex his back, he's got to try and pivot at the hips, but if he brings his feet back and goes wide, so wide with the feet, okay, like that, he's got a wider base of support which gives him more stability, he won't topple over, he's got to then just gently hinge forward at the hips and keep that core on, Okay, Max, she's still okay. Then you can either push up the bed or push up from his knees. So whatever suits him. But he's got to not just push and lift with his back, he's got to drive with his legs. He's got to use his legs to push him up rather than lifting his back up. Most people tend to want to lift their back instead of pushing their legs. So think of a squat. He wants to push his toes down through the floor and straighten his knees, keeping that core. And there's the third stage, okay? Getting understanding. He's got to then not brace and hold. He's got to gently keep that on, keep the breathing, making sure that's okay. And now we use the same philosophy. We've got to get these back muscles from locking to working. So he's then just gonna gently step left and right. So instead of stepping, before you actually get walking, make sure you can actually transfer weight left and right without it locking up. And this will give him a wee more confidence and he knows he's not going to sort of go into back spasm when he stands off and walks. And there you have it. Okay, so from then, then it's a gentle sort of shuffle and a walk and away you go. So there's your lying down, descending, and of course, going back down is the complete reverse, which we'll go through another time.